In this system, we're given the impulse response for a linear time invariant system. And the question is, what value or values of k will make the system causal? So remember, when given an impulse response, the condition for causality is that the impulse response is 0 for t less than 0. So if we try to sketch the impulse response we're given, it looks like we have some scaling factor. doesn't matter what that is. But that is multiplied by an impulse at t equals minus k. So when does the impulse happen? It happens when this argument equals 0. So that's when t equals minus k. So if k was um, positive, that would happen here. t equals minus k, and k is positive. And if k was negative, here would be t equals minus k, and k is less than 0. So for a causal system, that's OK, but that's not OK, because we want h of t to be 0 for negative time. So we can't accept that. What we can accept is that k is less than or equal to 0. So if k happened to be equal to 0, we would simply have an impulse at t equals 0, and that's fine. As long as h of t is 0 for negative time, at t equals 0, it's OK to be non-zero. So the answer to the question, what's the values of t, k or the range of values of k for which the system is causal, is all negative values including 0, so k less than or equal to 0, and that's your final answer.